And then I just blend that out with a little um, brush. Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry if it's a bit echoey in here, this is my bathroom. Um, today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial because like a whole two people asked me to. Um, so, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my hair out of my face. Cute. Okay, um, now that that's all dealt with, let's get started. I have my makeup case here in front of me, and I will be showing you guys all the products that I use and everything, except for the palette. It is from, let's just say, a discontinued Morphe palette. I still have it, and I'm still using it. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna use is the um, Shape Tape. Um, concealer in the shade Fair Beige, if you were wondering. It's brand new. Let me just open it. Oh man. Oh lord. And I just like to put it, dab a little around my eyes and my nose and a little bit under my lip. Like that. Yeah, and then I take a little beauty blender, I need to wash it, <laughs> and I just blend it out. If you um, see some kind of stain on my sleeve, it's right there, that is paint. That is not like snot or anything, I promise. I was painting something earlier and it got all over me. All right, so now that that is all blended out, I'm going to start um, contouring. I don't use foundation. Um, if I do, I use the Born This Way matte foundation. Um, but normally I don't use foundation. I don't really have a reason for it other than I just like to have as little product on my face as possible. I'm a hypocrite though. Um, you'll see whenever we get to the blush. Um, but I use Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Rosewood bronzer as my contour. I take a little brush like this and I just right under my cheekbones on my forehead and under my chin. We're getting very personal here you're seeing all my bad angles. And then I just blend that out with a little um, brush. This is a Morphe M406, if you were wondering. Not all of my brushes are from Morphe, just um, mostly the blending brushes because those are the most important ones to me. <coughs> all right. So next, we are gonna do blush. And um, I have either blush or contour. I do them, I kind of switch them up sometimes. Um, sometimes I do the blush first, sometimes I do the contour first on my nose. But today, I'm gonna do the blush first. Cause I've, I kind of like that right now. I'm going in with a kind of like a reddish pink eyeshadow and a blush brush. This is an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm just gonna pop that right on my nose. And something that I have learned from TikTok recently is to blend it all the way to your eyes, your under eyes. And I like to put a little bit on my eyelid too. 
Not that I'm not gonna do eyeshadow in a minute, but I'd like to have this part of my face right here covered with blush too. Gotta make sure that the nose is good from all angles. And, excuse me, that was a crack of laughing. The blush is done. I'm going to now contour my nose. I'm going to be using, if I can find it, um, kind of an angled little blending brush, little eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to put a little right there and put it all the way across. I'm gonna put a little right under the tip of my nose. Checking in the mirror, see if it looks good. And then I'm going to drag it all the way up to my eyebrows. There we go. And then I'm going to go back in with the beauty blender and just blend that right in. All right, um, I like to leave it a little bit so that you can see it because um, whenever all my eye makeup is there, you won't notice that it's so visible. Where did my concealer brush go? I put it in the wrong spot, classic me. Now I'm just gonna take a little concealer brush. This one is kind of in need of a good wash. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Probably should have done that before I filmed, but no. Just take a little bit of concealer and then get it right there. And then right there. And then up on the sides like that and then i just whatever's left over i just blend onto my arm <laughs> and then i go back in with the beauty blender again and i dab it and then i wipe off the extra on my arm and then i blend the rest of it in, and it comes out like that Now that the nose contour is done, I'm going to um, start with the eyes. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to take a NYX um, white kind of crayon eyeliner and do my waterline. There's a little mirror right here that I'm going to use because otherwise I won't be able to see because it's so little. You see the difference that it makes on this side and then without? What do my eyes look? <laughs> my eyes look kind of weird whenever I do that. All right, um, next we are gonna do the inner corner and then I do the Epic Wear, again, still a NYX white eyeliner, but it's a liquid liner. Um, and what I like to do, so I like to go, I like to go straight like that. Excuse me, there's something in my eyeball. And then I like to just go up from the corner. That did not come out good. I will do better on the next one. There we go. They are not the same at all, but that's okay. It does not matter too much whenever you are back here. <laughs> um, so moving on, um, I'm going to start with the eyeliner section of this video. Um, so what I like to do first with my eyeliner is I, I kind of like to do both of them at the same time. So I like to do a little right there, a little line, and then do a little line, 
See if they're even. It's a little bit shorter. There we go. And then just drag it down. And fill her in. And then on the other side, need more. <laughs> and then just there you go. And I fill her in. And there we go. That's how I keep them mostly even. Um, they're not always even, even now. That kind of rhyme, but I have a mirror right here and I see that um, this one is smaller than this one. So I come back in and make them even. There we go. And then something that I like to do every day now, pretty much, is I like to draw little lashes, like just just three of them along the bottom. I like to make a little line like that. And then connect it. Fill it in. There we go, there's one lash. And then I just do, I do three of them. So I do two more. All right, so these are the little lashes. And then I'm gonna do the other eye. There we go. All right, so now that the liner is done, I'm going to get started on the lashes. I use um, L'Oreal Terrascopic. L'Oreal Telescopic. Terrascopic? Where did that come from? Anyway, I just put it on my lashes. <laughs> Honestly, I think that every makeup tutorial should have their face this close to the camera, you know? Cause you know, you can't see when I'm back here or anything. Your whole screen needs to be filled with my face. Anyway, this is what my natural lashes look like, in case you were wondering. But they um, are kind of not enough for me. This is cute, but to make it extra, extra girly, extra gorgeous, gorgeous girl, I um, like to wear some lashes and these are from Amazon. I will put the link to them down below. Um, please do not sell them out. I don't think that I have the influence to do that anyway. <clears throat> but I just take some, some lash glue and I pop them babies on. That was a lot. All right, while we were gone, um, I also put highlighter and setting spray on. I use the Too Faced setting spray in the setting spray. I use the Morphe setting spray. I use the Too Faced highlighter, the Love Light one in the shade Blinded by the Light. Um, and now I'm going to take my hair down. And of course it gets caught on my necklace. Anyway, um, that is the finished look for today. Um, if you learned something, let me know. I hope that this helped you in some way. Um, and if not, I hope you just had a good time. Um, subscribe and leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!